Hello everybody and welcome back with Gak. In today's video we are going back to Japanese snacks and we're looking at a seller known as Market Tokyo. I found them first of all on eBay, they had an eBay account, but they have recently set up their own website uh, which is cheap to buy from uh, because they don't have to pay uh, eBay's listing fees which is good for us as buyers, but sometimes I find that they have different items on their eBay that isn't in their store, uh, so it can be a bit uh, of a coin toss as to where you want to order from. But uh, with that done, I'll give you uh, links to both of them down in the description. So uh, let's move on to what we have available today. We have uh, Cheese Jagger, Otosatsu Sweet Potato, Bourbon Jagger Choco, Fettuccine and All Raisin Biscuits. Okay, so I'm going to start off with these uh, sweet potato crackers from Tohato. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect on these ones, but it uh, sounds tasty. Mmm. A nice, sweet, sort of caramelized smell. And take them out, they've got very nice, thin, bubbly chips. They look um, a little bit almost like um, very thin cheddars, <laughs> but uh, probably won't taste like them. Mm, just smell nice. Mmm. It is sort of like a sweet, caramelly sort of taste. Very nice. I love the texture. Mmm. So nice and thin and crispy and just really nice and sweet. Mmm. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, it sort of tastes like um, a mild natural sweetness as well rather than just sugary. I'm trying to tell whether that's salt with it or not, but I can't tell, but, mm. Either way, these are really nice. I really, really like these. It's, um, you know, a little bit unusual if you're not used to uh, snacking on sweet potato, but if, um, if you're willing to give it a try, so try something a little bit different, then uh, these are definitely, definitely really good. And I recommend trying that. That's Tohato's Osatsu, Osatsu, something like that. Um, but yeah, they're sweet potato crackers. So if you are able to, give them a try because they are just really, really nice and sweet. Next up, we've got a pair of Bourbon's uh, Jagger series. Uh, Jagger. I know it sounds like obviously Mick Jagger, but <laughs> I think of it every time I hear it. But no, they are um, basically potato snacks, um, crisps, potato chips, whatever you wish to call them. Uh, we've got a savoury one here, which is cheese jagger, and then we've got the sweet, which is choco jagger. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start with the savoury first, as one does, and this is uh, pizza flavoured. So basically, these are oops, crisps that have been. Uh, soaked in cheese. I don't know if you can really make it out there, but they have been soaked in cheese as opposed to the other side, which is a little bit more plain. You can probably see the difference between them there. So, let's give these a try. I don't know whether I'd say that is pizza flavour, but there is a sort of tomato-y, herby taste to it, but mm. yeah, I don't know, um, but it is good. 
texture is really nice and um, the cheese is quite rich. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of flavour in there. But again, I don't know if I'd say it's pizza, but it's still a good flavour nonetheless. But mm. A little bit of spiciness as well. I can feel there is some sort of heat just at the back of my mouth. Just where the, um, you know, taste. But yeah. Still very good. Mm. Okay. Let's just, um, just gonna have a little drink here. <sighs> to <clears throat> cleanse the palate for the next one, which is the chocolate version. Again, the same principle, your um, crinkle cut chips, crisps, but this time soaked in chocolate, uh, which sounds interesting. interesting definitely um, chocolate itself isn't that great it's sort of you know um, cheap great chocolate it's not very sweet uh, but you know you can definitely tell it's chocolate and the um, crisp on the inside isn't salted it's just plain potato No, I think it works. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of flavour to it, unfortunately. Maybe uh, maybe if the crisp was salted and maybe if the chocolate was more sweet, there might be a bit more a bit more um, excitement going on in the flavours. But as it is, it is a little bit bland. But, but you know, I can appreciate what they're trying to do. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely interesting. And you know, it's nice and crunchy. It's a nice, nice treat, a nice snack. And I'd say, um, as far as these two go, uh, both the sweet and the savory, I'd say give them a try because they're definitely an interesting snack. Um, and you know, they're not bad. They just, I just think they could do with being that little bit more adventurous by putting a little bit more flavour into it because at the moment they are a little bit bland but it's a good effort, I'll put it that way. I definitely recommend trying them out either way. Moving on to more sweet stuff, uh, we now have um, Bourbon Fettuccine which are strips of uh, gummy uh, candy gummy sweets and this is Japanese pear flavor uh, from what I remember. Now we've got another one of these um, tear open resealable packs which are always good for me. And inside it's got like little strips of gummy. There we are. Coated with um, obviously the sugar and they're a little bit sort of stretchy so let's give them a taste oh. mm, nice and tangy mm, make your mouth water the texture I'd say is somewhat similar to fruit pastels um, here in the UK not as tough because they're thinner than uh, fruit pastels obviously but it's the same sort of texture as a fruit pastel and the flavour is just very as I say makes my mouth water uh, it's a very nice nice and sweet flavour very sweet um, somewhat well similar to apple because pears are similar to apples but different enough that you don't just think, oh that's just, just apple flavour. Well, mm, yeah. 
very nice, very soft and chewy. And uh, again, this is a um, another brand from Bourbon. We've got quite a lot of Bourbon stuff in here today. Um, <clears throat> and there are lots of flavours of these. Um, you can get uh, red grape, green grape, uh, melon, uh, ramenay, cola, uh, you know, all sorts. Um, so there is quite a wide range of these. Um, I thought I would go for the pear flavour because it's not something that comes up very often. Um, I know that sort of the more popular flavours in Japan and that have come up in my tasting so far are the grape, the ramen, um, the strawberry, the peach. They come up a lot, you get some of those all the time. But um, Japanese pear was a new one, so I thought something new uh, to keep things fresh so that I'm not just doing the same flavours over and over. But, yeah. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, a little bit stuck there. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely mm -hmm. like to try mm -hmm. other flavours of that one because it's a nice um, a nice treat, nice snack. Um, but I feel, it, again, it would probably just be tasting the same flavours over and over, so perhaps not. Maybe if it turns up in another um, mystery box, then say la vie. Uh, but, for now, uh, that'll be it for Fettuccine. And to finish off here, we have got Tahato's All Raisin. So today's video has been very much Bourbon and Tahato, and that's it. <laughs> but um, yeah, these look like um, sort of biscuit sandwiches with cream in the middle. And the biscuits look like um, Garibaldi, uh, which are some of my favourite biscuits. I love um, fruit biscuits, you know, like oatmeal and raisin, that kind of thing. Um, I think they're one of my favourite types of biscuits. So, we open the pack up, nice uh, lid, easy access, and then we have uh, little packets individually wrapped, so uh, you know we're talking quality here. <laughs> um, so yes, individually wrapped little biscuits, uh, very nice looking um, design on there as well. Uh, open them up. Oh, they're just as tough as uh, large packets, things. Oh, getting into these is always half the battle. There we are. <coughs> and, yep, yeah, there we are. You see, biscuits, they look very much like Garibaldi biscuits, but they've got a layer of cream in the middle there. I don't know if the cream has a flavour. doesn't hint towards it, and I can't read whether it does. Mm. That looks like a glass of brandy, doesn't it? <laughs> or rum. It would be rum for a reason. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking. But let's give it a taste anyway. Mmm. Now there's definitely something to that cream. I can't put my finger on it, but it's not just vanilla. There's definitely something else in there that's you can just about taste. Uh, if it is rum, it's not very strong, because you know, normally when you have um, like alcohol flavoured stuff, you get a definite alcohol taste, like when you have uh, chocolate liqueurs or um, rum truffles, things like that. Um, <coughs> I'm not getting any hint of that in here, but mm, still a very nice flavour. Um, the biscuits, um, I said they reminded me of Garibaldi, but they're a lot thicker and more crumbly than Garibaldi, whereas Garibaldi are thin and sort of chewy biscuits. Now these are um, thick and crumbly. They're quite dry, I have to say. The, the cream is very solid cream, like dry. There's not, not a lot of um, not a lot of give to it. It's not very moist, but it does taste good. And then the raisins when you get to those nice and soft and chewy. 
Um, I think they might make good Dunkin' Biscuits. I don't know. I'd have to give them a try. They look a bit too glazed to be Dunkin' Biscuits. They don't look as though they would absorb anything. But for what they are by themselves, very nice. Again, a bit dry. You'd probably want to have them with a cup of tea or coffee or something. Because, um, yeah, they're very, very dry, a bit hard to chew, kind of somewhat stodgy, but very good. The taste is very nice, very sweet, very creamy, and I really, really like them. Yeah, they're very good. <clears throat> but, um, I think I'll have to go and make myself a cup of tea after this to uh, wash it all down. <laughs> but yes, there we have it. That is it for today's um, Market Tokyo video. Yeah, and there's a, they um, have a lot of stuff, um, a lot of uh, a lot of sort of snacks that I couldn't find anywhere else. Uh, they were just unique to Market Tokyo, and. Um, most of the stuff I found there as well was also cheaper than it was at other websites. Um, the only uh, downside to that is that um, there is no deal for free shipping with them. Uh, like some places, uh, their items might be a bit more expensive, but if you spend over a certain amount of money, then you get the free shipping option. Whereas with Market Tokyo, um, their items are cheaper, but you do have to pay the shipping, so they don't calculate the shipping into their prices already so that's really a matter of weighing your options as to whether you think it's better value to buy from them and pay the shipping or to get the deals from elsewhere uh, for the free shipping but that is that's neither here nor there that's very separate from this shop as it is um, which I believe they're very good and um, the stuff that I ordered uh, arrived very quickly um, within a couple of weeks or so uh, considering it's coming from Japan directly that's uh, that's pretty good that's pretty quick shipping and I'm overall very pleased with um, the way things went uh, also I did buy from them from eBay um, eBay is supposed to offer a uh, combined shipping option um, when you get a quote but it didn't work um, but the shopkeeper I got in contact with them and they were very happy to refund the difference back to me after they had paid for shipping. So um, you know they're very accommodating, they will work with you, they uh, will answer your questions and respond to you uh, if you have any questions or concerns about shipping, ordering etc etc. Uh, which is always a big plus and really I just, um, I can't say anything bad about them, I had a very good experience when uh, buying from them. <clears throat> so yes, that is it for today's episode. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. I uh, hope you uh, scoped out some new treats that you might like to uh, taste. Um, let me know down in the comments if there's anything that uh, you'd like me to uh, try, anything that you'd like to see, anything you'd like an opinion on. Um, if there's anything that you've tried that you think I would enjoy, anything like that, just go ahead, uh, share your opinions, tell me what you think and like, comment and subscribe and show your friends. Tell everyone, come and invite them in and uh, we'll um, all get together and do the tastings. <laughs> Figuratively, anyway. So, with all that, that is it for this video. I uh, thank you for joining me, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment on video with your thoughts and what you'd like to see. If you like my stuff, hit subscribe and help hit my channel's goals. And don't forget to share, tell your friends and help me hit my current sub goals so I can give back to you guys too. See you next time.